Hey everyone, Speed Demon here, and welcome back to part 9 of our Let's Learn Civilization 6 Brazil run. Before we get into today's episode, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily content. Today's episode, we are going to kind of finish up a couple things here, and we can pick up the seaport. It's not a very uh, long process for us to kind of take care of. Eight gold, it's not going to do very much, but... Uh, with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's going to give us 18 on top of that. So 26 gold per turn. I mean, never hurts to have that on top of 860. As we recall from the last episode, we made a significant chunk of progress here for this great scientist. This is going to be absolutely critical that we pick up. Uh, this will make it much easier for us to get set up for the end game here. And we'll be in a really strong position. Going to take those. There may be no forgiveness for polyester. Synthetic materials, good. And promotion to master spot. And did we? We did. That's absolutely best case scenario for the city. So as you can see here, in the rockets, you know, rocket setup here with the spaceport has been neutralized and for us at this stage of the game us doing that means that now we do not need to worry about that in any way shape or form um that particular spaceport's now out of the game for quite a while it's going to take a while for him to repair that so what we could do is go for something different you know these boosts here not really a big deal i would like to go for this and then what we could do afterwards is make a quick effort here for this and then perform an attack on this unit here just weaken them as much as we can and then uh, with the gold that we have we are going to quickly purchase one of the most powerful units that we have available um, and go for this this would be pretty strong for us and then um, I would say, Man, because we'll have that, we could just bring this up and then clear this out. And then we'll just have another military unit that will be strong for us. So, very much a good thing. We have our Golden Age, and as we recall, Heartbeat of Steam. So, we are going to make an emphasized effort here towards... Um, doo -doo -doo. We could actually repeat that route. That's not a bad route, and that would help the city... We could also consider putting it elsewhere and maybe somewhere that's going to provide us with some extra value. Nuclear related stuff, not really a problem. We're not really concerned about that. Yeah, we can invest in that. We have a pretty nice amount of production in these cities, but it's just not really something that's going to provide us with that benefit. Go back to this city, do some more work here, and then get set up here. Once we have this preserve, this will provide us some nice yields get us a little bit more of a setup that we can really grow from in the city. That's actually really good. Turn them over. We're going to bug out. And Privateer can upgrade, so we'll do that next turn rather prioritize just getting them as far away as possible. Uh, we did get campus research grants and we are now at a whopping just this turn, 150 scientist points per turn. That's pretty darn good. Um, with that kind of pace, we can definitely without a problem, you know, pick up in a few turns uh, this, and this will basically give us the most proper end game setup here. Um, there was an opportunity to pick up uh, the space race projects um from the great person right here uh your kid moment for rocketry and that was robert goddard um yeah could have picked that up but again you know that's 20 percent. i'd rather focus on 100 percent because i know we can gain a lot more from it and we're currently you know really bringing down his overall economy so we're going to gain sources here and then once we gain sources we're immediately going to focus on the spaceport and then do some proper damage in that setup. And then we should be set. Um, once we've taken two of them out, we're going to be in a much better position. So, 
crops really hyper focus those yields really get us as much science to turn as possible the more we push ahead of the ai the better we're now up to 620 so versus the ai having 500 and then 620 as well so it's important that we stay ahead of him as much as possible and really try to eke out that victory uh, having the 100 percent bonus for our space race projects um, that itself is more of a benefit to us and we have the advantage but we do want to further push ahead of there so that way we can gain that tempo on them. Uh, long term, that's going to be the most important thing for us to consider. Good. It's going to give us a nice little set of boosts there. Go after that. And then we are going to take that. To head into friendly ground and then the friendly waters. We really do that. First, focus on food growth in the city because we don't really need solar uh, solar in the city yet. And now that we have that done, uh, we are immediately going to try to focus on that with this fella. So, uh, is human. Good. So now that we have computers, first priority setting up here and then we are going to go over here set up solar that way now we've got a little bit more food growth and we're going to bring that down to four turns until so that's perfect and we could also just you know potentially build like another aspect of power if we need it but uh, we do have three envoys that we did not have so they're going to just dump usage into that uh, let's see if did that go up no we'll put two for now i will hold on for one just in case just in the off chance that um, someone does put some utility into that i'm going to pillage that we're actually going to stay fortified because i want them to keep attacking me so that way i can just keep strong here i have the advantage in positioning Okay, bring that over, work a little bit more gold, and then the rest of these next ones uh, we will get. And since we have stock exchange, then we can now go for that and then go for that. So let's get traders first, and then that will be kind of the setup we can roll with. Get another one of these. Good, so we're back to full health. So a tiny little bit of damage. It's not much, but it'll help. The thing is, we can get ourselves out of our position pretty quickly, so we'll be okay. And now that we have another uh, charge available, we have ourselves, you know, power being provided to the city. Uh, let's see here. Ah, so we need a little more power. That's fine. Like, we can totally make that work. So what we'll do is we will just... Uh, actually, we'll wait. We'll wait till we have more of our setup, and then we'll buy more builders. Now our space race projects are going to be properly competitive. Getting a much nicer amount of science per turn. Going to keep working on that. There's no real practical use in doing these tiles. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, I mean... What the hey? You know, the option's there, but the problem is, is that it really just doesn't make sense. Because immediately that's going to declare war, and that's, it's, no. Again, I can live with the production loss. I am not trying to get into a war if it's, if it's a war that he's not already declaring on his own. And that's the thing we have to be aware of.
let's let's do some work here on that. Now I think about it. Let's let's just let's see if we can quickly let's let's see if we can get that done. Brings that down a turn. I'll pass. I'd rather not be involved in that. We'll kind of work on several of those. And we'll just bring them there to protect the city. Just have them alert. We find everywhere men of ancient was captured, so not the end of the world. That just means we're going to need to back off for the time being. Um, that way, we don't cause further issues. So we have to be a little smart about this. The spy that we have going. Actually, gonna take you to Batru instead. <laughs> I kind of like that idea. Let's do that. There we go. I'll make that go a little bit faster. And now that we have our setup for the long game, let's go. A little more science never hurts. Since we're apparently down to 585, that's a huge amount, huge amount less. Not sure what's going. Oh, you know why? It's because we are working on a government, and the game hasn't like registered the updated, uh, updated amounts. That's even better. And we're back up to 733. So we're we're okay. Game was just a little weird there for a moment. Uh, campus research grants are now complete in that city. Good. Um, actually, I feel like it's more of a priority that we just keep working on this instead as much as I would like to do something different. It's better for us to focus on something else. Um, we will click on that. Since we don't need the other stuff, this is more of a useful kind of setup that's going to play better into our game style here. I don't like this. I don't like that one bit. Do that so I've got better movement. Build that. And then set up what we need. Uh, we can get some error score potentially from that. Uh, yeah. I'm very much not a fan of the fact that he's doing what he's doing because he's trying to literally get as many as possible over there and it's just not going to be fun. He's going to be flirting with some serious danger, dude. Like he's poking at a hornet's nest that's going to destroy him very, very quickly and I hope he's like blatantly aware of that. I can't even get over there. It's blocked off so much. That's what's so frustrating. Other than here, it's counter spy, um, city center. That way, all the stuff here can be protected since we have an aerodrome that will get started and some other stuff. It is indeed a legitimate problem. <laughs> Not a good thing. Um, I'll take that. Good, so we're very easily securing that. And he's just left them there, that's the problem. Like, he's he just has them there, like... It's ominous, dude, I don't like that. 
I don't like that he's just sitting there with them. That's very uh, foreboding. There we go. We are now in the information. No, era. my friends. We and have not we fallen have access back. to this. That's perfect. Um, meaning we've got that. incredible <laughs> 850 signs per turn not too bad so let's take a quick read here requires 30 you know, aluminum we have amount uh, Speeds up your exoplanet by one light year per turn, accelerating your progress towards a science victory. And then this requires uh, more power in the city. So first let's do this one. And then bring that over. Boost that. Right. Ooh, we're very close. Okay. And now in real, go for this. I should go bring this back. We'll just use this one. Oh boy, we <laughs> we're very close. We're very, very close to this victory. It's right there. We're right there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are right there. For our first ever science victory, we are just, we're just on the cusp. That's fine. Vatican City was destroyed. Not a problem. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Bring this to here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are properly in the end game here. 19 out of 50 light years. Surprisingly, Francis come out of behind here out of the others here and France has really taken off there so good for them you know he's got over a thousand uh France has 617 science and yet through likely an epic an epic bucket load just a bucket load of espionage through the game most likely caught a lot of those science boosts so it's pretty impressive Gotta give it to that AI. The AI there with a very wide empire with four, five, six, ten, twelve cities versus my five and two. Oh man, that's that's exciting. I am I am very, very deeply excited. Okay, we can work on that too. Two turns? Sure. We'll make this even faster. Well, that's going to get taken. That's fine. You know what? That one loss in the grand scheme of all this, I can live with this. I normally wouldn't do that. I'd normally be more careful. I can live with this. I can... <laughs> sure.
I want to thank you all for your time. I'm going to end the episode here because this is an amazing stopping point. We've gotten very, very far. The longer episode, uh, there's going to be a good few cuts here because uh, there were some gaps in between time between working on stuff. So um, we'll definitely shorten the episode down to around 20, 25 minutes at most. But otherwise, again, just want to thank you all for the support. This series has been amazing. You know, we are very much on pace for a really good victory here. This is quite exciting. Um, this journey for this particular run has been a tricky one because we are being, you know, a tall, very specifically a tall Civ that we could work with. Normally in Civ 6, it favors uh, wide gameplay. So the fact that we're able to pull this off and do a tall gameplay and then just do some late game supplementation here with a couple cities is really, really strong. Um, it says a lot about the setup that we worked on and how we optimize better than the AI. But again, we've gotten quite a bit done and really progressed the way, you know, any time for us as a player that we can do that, we did that and we pulled it off. So we're very close to the win here. So as we can see here, it's one year, three years. So we're right there. And then once we get this next turn, uh, that'll provide us with a little bit more and we can actually keep keep working through that and we'll actually consider that okay well everyone this is a fantastic stopping point for this episode we've gotten very very far with this particular one we've gotten a lot of substantial end game work done and we are very much closing in on our victory so as we recall before we got really going with this episode you know we had just gotten the moon landing completed and we were you know in the process of setting up for the mars colony and we've already gotten through all of that and now we are on pace for our win in a maximum it says here 25 turns it's going to be much less than that because as we keep working through these district uh city projects that'll keep going down further and further so it's more realistically most likely around 10 turns that we'll have the victory so around 300 to 310 is when we're going to have our victory so that being said, thank you all for your time. Your support has been really amazing through the series and really quite excited. You know, we are definitely proud of this one. For me, I've definitely uh, spent a lot of time, you know, going through the thinking process through different aspects of this game here, especially trying to make this tall game competitive and we're able to pull it off. Gonna end the episode here, everyone. Thank you again for your time and speed D-Man out.